Zombly here. Long time no see, right? Um, unfortunately, I've been really busy at work, and uh, it's been crappy. I haven't had a lot of time to upload a video, and what's worse is I'll be out of town very shortly, uh, which means, again, that there won't be any videos. So, in the meantime, I thought I would just do a quick one here of uh, a strange little game that you might think right now is Arma. But I assure you it is not Arma 2. Although everything looks like Arma 2, doesn't it? Except this is called Take on Helicopters, which is also done by Bohemia Interactive. And surprise, it does run on the Arma 2 engine. I know who would have thunk it, right? Because everything looks just like friggin' Arma. Anyway, uh, point being is that it simulates a civilian helicopter operation if that makes sense. Basically, you're a line pilot for a helicopter aviation business. Um, and the helicopter simulation is a little bit in-depth. It's not like DCS in-depth, but you do have to do a walk around of the chopper, and you get random jobs, and you make money for the random jobs, at which point you can come back here and you can uh, use said money to uh, get some upgrades for that chopper. And basically, you just keep it going. Um, I'm trying to get my joystick set up here. There we go. I uh, got a crazy little setup here for my uh, joystick. It doesn't really uh, sit on my desk because um, I don't have a lot of room on my desk. Uh, I don't know. It's it's inefficient and difficult. I'll leave it at that. Um, but at any rate, you can uh, come in here and you can access the hangar, so we'll go ahead and do that. And see, these are all the parts installed on my chopper. These are all the parts I could install. This is how much money we currently have. We can move to hangar. Uh, we can choose our maintenance work standards. I would like them cheap and slow, so they're proper and not shoddy. Um, this is, of course, a mod. This isn't the original game. The original game does have a career mode very similar to this. However, that is... Uh, more, uh, the missions aren't random like this one is. This is sort of dynamic in that, and, uh, well, dynamic isn't good because basically I, I could, uh, just decide that I don't want to take a passenger somewhere and have to drop him off in the middle of nowhere and it won't affect my business at, uh, in any way, shape, or form. So it's more of random missions, but the, uh, the actual career mode that comes packaged with the game is, uh, canned missions, basically. Um, it's a storyline that follows a linear path, uh, as far as I know. I haven't played much of it because I don't really enjoy games with a storyline. I'm starting to learn this about myself. Um, I dislike storylines because apparently I like to make up my own as I go. I have no idea why I can't play a game with a story. And that's not to say all games with stories are bad because, like, uh, some of the console games I played, like some of the Final Fantasy games, like 7, and to me, um, nobody really liked it, but I liked Final Fantasy 8. I thought it had a great storyline as well. So, you know, storylines in games aren't terrible, but uh, I guess I'm just a simulation geek through and through. I don't need a story. Just tell me, you're a line pilot, <laughs> you know? simulate that and it's like hell oh, yeah I'm all for it so at any rate um, I don't know how this will be received it's basically up to you guys if you want to see more videos on this I thought I would throw this out here as a test more than anything um, I'm gonna go ahead and just do a, a couple of jobs and then come back um, I will warn you that uh, while I play a lot of flight simulators and I have countless hours in Flight Simulator 10, it was always fixed wing aircraft, not not rotary. Um, so right now I'm on trainee mode um, for difficulty, and it still kicks my ass. Um, I have to use auto hover as a crutch. Um, I try not to use it, but mostly I'm all over the place, and it's really embarrassing. So it should be fun for you guys. Uh, because, you know, another person's uh, misfortune is always entertaining, right? <laughs> and what what better misfortune could you have than video game misfortune, right? It could always be worse, I suppose. So anyway, I'm just doing a basic walk around real quick. I don't remember if I checked the gear. Yes, gear looks good. I checked the main rotor, I think. I need to check my vertical stabilizer. So, at any rate, um, before I got sidetracked here explaining my helicopter skills and making up excuses for why I'm going to embarrass myself very shortly. Um, I, I wanted to say that this 
series may not be well received. Uh, surprisingly, it may join the ranks of my rehash on ETS2, which was using the multiplayer mod, and it may also uh, join Project Zomboid, which I noticed didn't get a lot of views, despite the fact that it was voted for. Um, so I, I stopped those series, if anyone is curious and wondering. B17 I haven't gotten around to yet because I'm lazy and I don't quite feel like playing the game. You guys have my apologies. It doesn't mean I dislike it and it won't happen. It will happen. I'm just uh, kind of, I guess, when I feel like it. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, I'm being that guy. But, uh, so there's the possibility of this one. I got a couple of other Let's Plays in mind that I would like to do. Of course, I still love doing DCS videos and the LCPDFR videos, but those are more of at random. So, um, actually, before I get too far, I am set up for passenger operations at the moment because, really, it's about the only thing I'm good at. So we'll go ahead and jump in the back of the helicopter, which is not where you fly it from, but we are going to inspect the cabin to make sure nobody left my chopper in a state of disarray. Yep, I've seen it cleaner, but hey, it's a neat, a, a neat chopper is one that isn't getting flown enough, right? Right? No. Um, so let's take a look at the time. It is 8.33? 34. 8.34. We'll go ahead and tidy up the cabin, and we'll see how much time has passed because we don't want to uh, leave a messy cabin. It, it leaves a bad reputation for the uh, passengers. And that took us quite a while. It is now 8.54. So, that sucks. <laughs> you don't want to have to clean up your cabin a whole lot. And passengers will uh, make a mess of your cabin as time goes on, the more you, uh, you know, the more people you pick up and stuff. Also, uh, if you fly like an asshole or anything like me, um, they'll get sick and barf in your cabin, and that's always terrible. So we'll go ahead and inspect our hydraulics, make sure these are okay. And hydraulics have seen better days. Yes, they have, because my control cyclic was not working in the least. We cannot fly the chopper in this state. So let's real quick check the fuel, because I almost forgot to do that too, which tells you how great of a pilot I am. Okay, so 40%, that's that's good enough to fly on, so all we got to do real quick is move this guy in and get the hydraulics replaced. This mod is by a gentleman on the uh, forums at B Studios, and uh, I think his username is Moach, at least that's how I'm going to pronounce it, it's M-O-A-C-H. And uh, I'll show you something which is kind of sad, because this mod's old, and it hasn't been developed any further, and I don't know if it will be developed any further. I don't want to say it's dead, because I haven't seen anything from him, but uh, the last posts were in, like, 2013 or so. Um, so I'll show you something that means that should have been developed into this mod, which I'm sure wasn't be due to time constraints and real-life concerns of Moach, but uh, anyway, we'll take and replace those hydraulics, right? So we double-click to remove them from the chopper, double-click to put them back. Notice that no money has been deducted. Same with fuel. So all this hasn't been implemented yet, nor do I think it ever will be. So I'm sure everybody's like, why in the actual fuck are you going to play a mod that uh, doesn't allow you to keep track of your money and stuff. I like it basically for the random missions, um, but if people do want this series to uh, to continue, like if you guys are actually interested in it and you like it and you would like to see a Let's Play of it, I will manually keep track of the money. It, it'll be different when I start the game up, and then from there we'll just keep a tally going. Um, I'll just kind of like write down a notepad or something. I'll, we'll come up with like some random, uh, you know, like numbers uh, for jobs completed, and we'll charge fuel based on real av gas, aviation fuel prices, and uh, then from there we can keep a running tally, and I can r run a quote-unquote business. Um, you know if you guys want this to continue. I don't know if this will get a whole lot of views. I don't know if it's exactly exciting, per se. So let's go ahead and try that uh, hydraulics inspection one more time. Yeah, look how much more free and clear the controls are. That's nice. Okay. Well, now that that's all been done, let's go ahead and fire this thing up. 
oops, as my computer decided it didn't want to load at that moment. Processor's like, nope. Go fuck yourself. Okay. So as you can see, um, it's a little more in-depth than the flight model and modeling of choppers uh, systems than Arma 2 is, but it uses the same engine, essentially. Okay, let's go ahead and get that to idle. 65% on your RPM, and then you can release the starter, otherwise, if you release it sooner than that, you uh, risk what they call a hot start which I don't know what that is because I don't know a hell of a lot about uh, helicopters but I do know that in this game it really screws your day over like bad like it, it totally fucks up the entire chopper like you have to replace the transmission the engine the rotors uh, both main and tail rotor it's just it's a bad day uh, don't do it. So, <laughs> I learned that real quick. Um, so anyway, now that we have the battery on and our ATC radios on, we would use our Arma-style menus by pressing 0, and then 0 again, and then 1 to call in to tell dispatch that we are ready to start accepting jobs. Now we open J, I have a cargo sling load job that I'm not going to do just yet. You can be picky about what you choose to do. And right now I'm just looking for a quick passenger shuttle. Cargo sling load operations I think would take a little bit longer, especially because I'm not good at getting the rope steady enough for them to attach it. Uh, even with auto hover, I, it could be something I'm doing wrong. Maybe there's a key command or an action key to tell them to, uh, you know, place the load on the rope, but I, I can't seem to get them to do that. So we're just going to go ahead and sit here idle. Um, thankfully, calls come in real quick. Plus, I, I've done a really long, annoying intro. You guys have my apologies. But uh, there was some things and information about my channel that I wanted to get out there and let everybody know. Uh, again, it's going to go inactive like it hasn't already been. I think it's been five days since I uploaded a video, which is so frustrating because I really wanted to upload. I love playing games and doing the commentary and talking to you guys. It, it really occurred to me. I went inactive for a long time due to sort of like this weird depression thing I was going through like a fucking pansy like drink a cup of concrete and harden the fuck up, right? But anyway, once I got back to recording, I was like, holy shit, I really do love this. So now it's like this need that I have that I have to play games and I have to do commentary over them. Otherwise, I don't... Uh, I just, I don't know, I, it, it eats at me, and lately the way work has been, even though I don't work a whole lot, they've scheduled me a lot of days in a row, and they're all different hours, so it's really screwed up my time to, uh, to uh, record, and uh, my sleep schedule's all wacky, and it, I'm just, I, I'm having a little bit of trouble location scouting. God, come on, give me a passenger shuttle real quick. I, I mean, I've got seats in the back, I just tightened up the cabin, everything's good to go. But anyway, um... So unfortunately, the channel might go inactive again just for a few more days, probably another five or six. Um, maybe longer, unfortunately, which is going to drive me nuts, but um, that's because I'll be out of town. I'm going to the Portland Retro Gaming Expo, which is going to be great. I'm going to meet a couple of YouTubers there, um, mainly Rental Floss, and um, I think Peanut Butter Gamer is going to be there. Not 100% on that. I hope he is. And by meet them, it doesn't mean I'm going to be on any panels or anything. I'm too small time. But uh, by meet them, hopefully I'll get to see their panels. And maybe, if I'm lucky, I'll get to like walk up and shake their hand and tell them how much I enjoy their work. And you guys, if you would like, can go ahead and check them out. Um, again, it's Brental Floss, who I'm sure you guys probably heard of. He does a lot of the uh, gaming-themed music. And he does it uh, to... Uh, just, well, he, he basically does spoofs of, like, main titles and stuff, and they're ingenious, and they're creative, and they're great. And then Peanut Butter Gamer, you can see him on my featured channels uh, page, or, well, on my channel page, under featured channels, aka check these guys out. Peanut Butter Gamer does a lot of great uh, game reviews. He does a lot of, well, not game reviews, uh, top tens, sorry. If you want great game reviews, check out LGR. <laughs> but no, um, let's see. Uh, anyway, he does top tens, and he also has a gameplay channel, which is great. God damn, come on, please give me a job. Please. I'm just a quick passenger op. My fuel is almost empty. I'm just going to sit here and idle all my fuel away. Please. 
There we go, passenger shuttle. We will quickly set that as our current task. And we will go ahead and tell dispatch that we want that task. Should be out at departure by the time you get there. Alright, so then we'll go ahead and set that as our current task again. I'm only a mile or a, a kilometer out. Cool. Um, so they'll expect me quite soon then. Ooh, 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 easy chopper. Oh, that was great. See? I am the best pilot ever. I wreck my gear. I don't think that hurt the landing skids all that much, but uh, yeah, not the smoothest takeoff. And that's not good, especially because I'm going to uh, be trying to fly with passengers very shortly. <laughs> I expect him to vomit in the cabin and it will be terrible and we'll have to clean it up. Um, thankfully it's not in depth on that, right? <laughs> Alright, so where does this guy want us? We'll go ahead and drop collective here and already start slowing down because he's only 3,000 feet away from us. Easy. Unfortunately, I've also got a really old lame joystick and no track IR, so my lame old joystick makes a lot of creaking, popping, plasticky sounds. Uh, it's a SciTech ST290 Pro, and uh, it has served well beyond its years for a $20 joystick. Um, just, just saying, <laughs> this poor thing and the abuse it's gone through. Okay, we might want to watch out for trees and stuff. Okay, we might want to continue to slow down. And this is where I fail insanely bad, is at my chopper helo landings. Ouch. Ouch. Alright, well, um, I'm sure that inspired tons of confidence in my would-be passengers, and I'm sure it probably broke parts of my chopper, because that didn't sound good on the gear. Um, <laughs> not in the least. Anyway, here comes my passengers. I'm gonna get a weird door sound error, which is strange. Um, it just comes up a little text box, we click OK, and everything's honky-dory at that point. Yeah, see? Sound, doors not found. Okay. Continue. Alright, Mario Carey, how you doing? Great, Mario, and that's an awesome name. This is a nice and easy flight landing at a verified site. Alright. And you'll never guess more rain. Yeah, in Seattle? Uh, n yep, never would have guessed that. Am I right? Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's not terrify our passengers. Okay. So, we'll go ahead and try to keep this steady enough to uh, use our tail rotor here to spin us around with some pedal action. And we have a little 11 mile flight this way, which I'll go ahead and try to get started. Or popping, creaking joystick. Might need to buy a new one. <laughs> just, just for the sake of recording video so people can hear me. Um, also, this game, and the other one that I don't really want to give away, I don't want to say it's a surprise, because it, I don't know, um, it's just, I got a couple more games that I want to do a Let's Play of, and the only reason I was able to get those was because of you guys, my subscribers, and the views you guys give me on my videos, um, hopefully I make them entertaining enough that you want to view them, you don't feel obligated to, because it's like, you know, like pity views, <laughs> Is, is that a thing? Because that would be sad and terrible. But, uh, you know, so if you don't like my channel, unsubscribe. Get out of here. You know, I'm not saying, like, I hate you all, but if you don't want to watch it, don't, man. This is freedom of choice, you know? That's a thing. I don't know why I'm going all, like, philosophical. What I wanted to say was thank you to everyone who subscribed to me and who always comes and watches my videos. Everybody that takes the time out of their day to do that for me, because it's benefited me in many ways, and it's benefited me financially. Uh, these games are possible because uh, a couple of weeks ago I was able to finally get a check after a year and a half of having my channel. Um, I finally got a check, and it was $147. <laughs> it's not enough to live on like my current goal is. Like I would love to make YouTube my career, but it, it's definite. I mean, that was almost $200, and it's all thanks to you guys. So I wanted to say thank you once again to all my subscribers. I really appreciate that. It was quite awesome. And uh, it gives me more motivation to continue to make these videos so I can hopefully actually make this 
my full-time job. That would be a hell of a lot of fun because then I can uh, provide you guys with a lot more videos. There'd be a lot more content on my channel. So it's it's one step in the right direction is is what ended up happening. And uh, so I thought I would share that because I was excited about that and I thought it was really cool. Anyway, uh, well I got this kind of level and steady and we're on our way. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and use free look because I don't have track IR. As you can see, it's built on the Arma 2 engine. I would call this like Arma 2.5, which I think is an accurate description. Because as you can see, the texture load in, this is on ultra high. The textures kind of are popping in and stuff. It's like real low res, but that's because as you get lower to the ground, there's like grass and trees and every one of those vehicles you can step in and drive. So the the fact that the engine can even handle that and still run at 30 frames per second I think makes up for the fact that uh, the textures are a little wonky looking but really they're not that terrible it's not awful graphics to say the least it's Arma 2 graphics I guess um, but the amount of information this this engine is processing right now without killing your machine or requiring a NASA computer is amazing so I'm just going to throw that out there, that it, it may not look the greatest, but there's so much going on right now, it's incredible. The fact that I can get into any one of those cars you see driving and then literally drive around the entire area of Seattle is incredible. This is, this is like four times the size of Sharonis in Arma 2, so that's something to keep in mind as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause, well not pause, but I'm going to go ahead and mute my microphone because I've been talking for so long now and I was a derp and left my water just out of reach. So it feels like I've swallowed a bag of feathers and I'm probably going to cough soon. So I'm going to save your ears. Alright, that was some highly refreshing, much-needed water. Um, I don't feel like I'm going to cough up a lung now and die. Um, I think I just need to drink more water in general. I've fallen into this trap of uh, lots of energy drinks, coffee, and soda. And uh, for one, that annihilates your kidneys. I've already had a kidney stone. Um, that was not a fun experience, if anybody's wondering. I was 23 at the time. I'm 25 now. Um, Pissing gravel hurts, <laughs> which I think anybody could have assumed. But, uh, yeah, it was it was a bad experience. So I just need to work on uh, getting more water in my system, I think, um, is, is the lesson to be taken from that. So how's, how's my passengers doing? I haven't really been checking on them this flight. They seem cool. See, it's like once I can get this bitch in the air... Everything's fine. I, I can maintain a steady altitude. I can maintain a good speed. Uh, it's just the process of slowing down and then landing because I slow down so much and then I have to really focus on my horizontal situation indicator, my HSI there, which is uh, the little dude with the green uh, VW looking symbol in the center. Basically, it's the artificial horizon. I really have to focus on that to um, kind of make sure that I'm not, see, because when you slow down a chopper, you pull back on the stick, well what that's doing is you're actually going to go in reverse, so I focus so much on slowing down, and then at that point I'm trying to keep it lined up for the landing that I forget that I've still got it up a little too much, and then I start going backwards, and then I literally start doing this seesaw back and forth, side to side thing, and it's like I just, hovering for me, and, and coming to a stop and landing are just things that uh, destroy <laughs> it's just uh, I, I look like I've never even heard of the concept of flight when I attempt this but anyway um, this one they said was going to be an easy landing at an actual heliport which is awesome uh, that's a good way to start a video for me I've had it where they take you to off airport and off helipad landings 
which are um, a little frightening because it's your decision if you want to land there or not and most of the time they're in a very tight cluster of trees so most of the time I have to tell the poor customer no I can't land there it's unsafe and, and then I have to take them like a thousand foot away to like a safer area and uh, they, they don't like that of course because they have to deal with the consequences of that you really know how to handle the chopper huh I'm Mario I'm pretty sure you're being sarcastic right dude cuz I really hate to tell you but I'm unlicensed uninsured and scared <laughs> he actually looks at me like what <laughs> no it's we'll make it Mario it's okay it's I, I think we'll be alright at least I hope we will anyway I'm gonna go ahead and try to kick some pedal in here so we can turn okay see I'm slowing down rapidly so now I want to try to lower the nose but not lower it enough to where I'm driving forward and see this is this is where everything just gets squirrely and bad and I kill everyone involved and it's uh, it's bad for PR to say the least now there is auto hover even in, in expert mode which removes all the help which I'm not getting much help in trainee I'm getting more like HUD information than I would I think but I think most of the physics are the same, at least I'd like to hope so, so I feel better about myself. But uh, they give you auto hover even in expert mode, so I suppose I could throw that on and use it, but I don't know, I just, I wouldn't feel okay doing so. And they say this is a safe landing area, but it's really close to some trees. I don't like being that close to trees. Being that close to trees usually ends up horribly for me. So let's see if I can do this and still maintain some commentary. Okay, 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 okay. See, now we're going backwards too much. So then forward. It's, okay, this is good, actually. Let's just try to keep it right here. I would like to go a little bit close to the destination, but you know what? You're within 100 foot. I think you guys will make it, right? Maybe. Oh, gosh. Okay. Woo. Um, yeah, see, I'm totally professional, I told you. So, now we basically have to tell them that it's safe to get off the chopper. I've stopped fumbling about. And, uh, it looks like, hopefully the game didn't freeze permanently. Did the game freeze? No, it didn't, okay. I was gonna say, that's gonna be a shitty way to end the video. Okay, so they're all hopping out. Catch you later. Yes, you will, Mario. Hopefully. Thanks for riding with me, dude. You're a very brave man. I appreciate you. Okay. So that's good and good. Uh, fuel light is on. So uh, let's go ahead and um, call in to dispatch first off. I forgot. We have to tell them that we are clear of this assignment. Okay. Now, I'm going to call in one more time and tell them uh, can't take any more calls because I'm going to be headed back to the helipad so I can get some more gasoline and I'll probably end the video here probably get in about like one job per uh, per video at least that would be my hope Let's see, another kind of shitty takeoff you're like that guy can fly okay I mean it was a smooth ride here but the minute he goes to land it was like terrible and apparently Don Knotts is commenting. <laughs> I, do, I sounded just like Don Knotts right there. I don't know why. Um, that's strange. That was very strange. Um, anyway, it's like I can fly the chopper just fine, but probably because that's the easiest part. Hovering and landing and takeoffs are the hardest part with the chopper, and I can't do them. I'm horrible at it. Um, so anyway, yeah. Um, I just kind of spaced out there for a moment. Let's, uh, let's check fuel. I don't know why I spaced. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm going to have more than enough to get back, but I wouldn't take on any more operations at the moment. When the light comes on, uh, yellow, on the like instrument bar at the bottom of my screen there, I think that means you have like 20% left, which doesn't sound like a whole hell of a lot, but uh, as far as I understand... Most of these little light choppers and stuff are uh, pretty fuel efficient. 
I can probably go another hundred miles on this fuel. But, uh, again, not a real chopper pilot, so please don't take my advice to heart. That would be a terrible thing to do. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, again, guys, please let me know in the comments if you want to see this as a constant series. I would be doing different missions much like this. Um, a lot of passenger operations. Uh, some of them would have me landing in uh, un unprepared areas on top of... Uh, roofs, uh, there's cargo operations, uh, sling load, which is basically where you take a big long rope and attach it to one side of the helicopter to the other side to like a big, like, uh, I don't know, I'll say giant air conditioning unit that goes on a roof. Then you carry it with the chopper to the roof. Um, there's three different classes of helicopter in um, take on helicopters, which basically translates to three different helicopters. So there's the one I'm flying right now, which is of course the light class. Uh, this one has a searchlight. I have the ability to install a uh, forward-looking infrared camera, or a FLIR camera, and a regular camera, um, of which gives me, uh, like, aerial photography options and search and rescue missions. I've also got, um, basically three passenger seats, which you saw what that was like. That was passenger shuttle. And then there's the medium and heavy class choppers which I haven't gotten into yet. Um, I think with the medium, you'll probably get a lot more cargo ops, um, maybe some fast rope insertions for police forces. Um, also, sadly, I don't know what's modeled in this mod. Um, I'm pretty sure it can take place of... It can take... What was I... I don't even know. That was like a massive commentary fail. I'm pretty sure it can take all the things from the career mode and implement them. Because in the career mode of take on helicopters, all of that's already in there. Ooh, hello! Jesus. Perhaps I should pay attention to my windscreen there. Uh, that was danger close. We're using, using visual flight rules. Perhaps I should follow them. Yeah, I'm probably at the wrong altitude for the heading that I'm using. And uh, I'm not paying attention, obviously. But my landing light's on because I'm under 10,000 feet, so there's the one thing I've done right, if we're looking at actual aviation rules. <laughs> um, anyway. Uh, so there's, there's all sorts of stuff, and I don't know what the mod implements. Um, I'm pretty sure anything that was available in the vanilla take on helicopters career mode could be available here. Um, so let me know what you guys think, if you want this to be a series or not. Um, I did want to at least get one video up to tell you guys what's going on right now, why my channel's been a little bit inactive. Uh, basically, I've got a crazy schedule at work. It's not like I'm working like 12 to 16 hour days, but it's just weird. I've got a few hours here, and then the next night I've got a bunch of hours here, and then the night after that I'm off, but then technically I don't have days off because I work at midnight. So, basically today's my day off. Today is Monday. That's why I'm able to record. They scheduled me off on a Monday, so I'm here recording a video, but technically Monday at 11.59, I have to make sure that I'm standing at work. So on this day, my day off, I'm standing in front of the time clock at work because at 000, which is 12 o'clock, I clock in for Tuesday morning. So... My days off aren't really days off, if that makes sense. i got to try to focus on getting sleep. So when they put my schedule up like this, where I have, like, a day off, but then the next day I work, it's not, like, normal, if that makes sense. It's, it's difficult to try to find the time to sleep and then record videos and then make it to work. And I, I don't know. It doesn't sound like it would be difficult, but just working midnight to 8 is very strange. And, uh, unfortunately, it cuts into the time I can try to record, which is doubly frustrating to me. Oh, Jesus, here's another one. I'm going to cut collective and dive underneath him here. There we go. Anyway, it's doubly frustrating for me because I want to make YouTube my full-time career. Um, it's something I really enjoy doing, and I've already made a little bit of money at it. Granted, it took me a year and a half to make $200. So I'm certainly not able to live on that. Um, but it, it's given me the motivation to do so and uh, the drive. And so I get a little annoyed that I can't record. And uh, 
I don't know, so maybe I'm trying to overcompensate for that by explaining too much what's going on, because I feel like um, I lost so many subscribers when I went inactive, which is fine, I, I deserved it because I wasn't providing content, that's the, that's the reason why people subscribe, they want to see videos, but now, since then, I think I've been a little bit paranoid about that, so I, I you know, I, like right now, five days has been passed since I tried to upload a video, and now I have like this overwhelming urge and sense of urgency to, uh, to get a video up, just so you guys know what's going on, which is good, I guess, because I need to keep the community informed, the community that's evolved around my videos, I mean, that's amazing in of itself, I think, but, uh, anyway, so, during the time I'll be out of town, unfortunately, we won't get a lot of videos, um, and then after that I work again quite a bit with those weird schedules that they like to give me, so, unfortunately, we may not see a lot of stuff, but the channel's not dead, nor will it be if I can help it, um, ever. I will continue to do this until I die, even if all I do is this, and it doesn't give me a living or anything like that. Um, I think that'll be more than enough for me. Uh, because I, I've come to realize that this is one of the things that I really enjoy, that, that keeps me active. Well, not active, I'm sitting on my ass. But, I mean, it, I don't know, it keeps my mind active, it keeps me happy, um, it's a good stress reliever for me, except for the stressful situation right now as I'm struggling to land, talking like nothing's wrong, I swear, everything's fine, this is, this is normal for me. It's very normal, I'm about to hit gas pumps in a chopper, this is really normal, I swear. Everything's fine, there's a windsock there, and there's some more ground objects that I don't want to hit, so can we please just, see, this is what I'm talking about, back and forth, it's like those, like, hypnotizing things, okay, 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 oh. um, close enough, right, let's see if we can, uh, you know what, I'm gonna cheat, because this is the end of the video, and I really need to park it, I'm just gonna do auto hover, just enough, to get this poor thing in the air, and turn around properly, feel as though auto hover, auto hover is on. It is. I would not be this smooth. I wish I could be this smooth. There are guys that fly without auto hover that are this smooth. How? How in the actual fuck all can you fly a chopper this efficiently? <laughs> I don't understand. See, like I said, I'm fixed wing aircraft through and through. I have to be because I cannot fathom the fact that my, my wings are moving faster than my aircraft. Um, ouch. That was a rough set down. And I'm still off the marks, even with auto hover. Good lord. Anyway, I can't fathom that my, uh, my engines or wings are moving faster than my aircraft. Uh, to me, that's catastrophic failure. But, what do I know? Let's go ahead and roll the throttle to idle. And then we'll go ahead and close it. slow us down. There we go. Go ahead and pop off all the stuff so our battery doesn't drain. Shut off all the instrumentation and the battery itself. And, uh, yeah. So anyway, please do me the favor and let me know if you guys want to see this as a series. I might not get the next videos up for at least a week, maybe a week and a half, but uh, if you guys do want to see this, it'll be sort of like DCS. I'll just uh, continue to do episodes whenever I can. I'll try to make it a series. Um, so DCS and LCPDFR, and maybe take on helicopters career mode, but not career mode. I'll, I'll think of a better, more creative title, I'm sure. Let's go ahead and pop that rotor brake on now. That'll slow us down right quick on that RPM. And so when we next come back to this, if we want to revisit it, I will have to put fuel in the chopper and do a walk around, but the first thing I want to do now is, I'm paranoid, because I know I've probably broken these poor bastards, these poor little landing skids right here. They're in good shape. Light helicopters, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very robust, and uh, I'm an awful pilot. So, 
with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. This has been Zombly with uh, Take On Helicopters Possible Let's Play. <laughs> I, uh, I really appreciate your guys' views, your likes, and any subscriptions as I move my, uh, my keyboard here, which is attached to the mouse which just gave us a great shot of the sky and my character's ass. I'm sorry for that. Anyway, <laughs> thanks again, guys. This has been Zombly. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video.